what will happen is when I get this report done and I get her off the jail, uh, a detective will see the report tomorrow and there'll be a detective assigned to the case. I like the big boy. That's what she said. That does look sharp though, doesn't it, you guys? Oh, yeah. I got a phone call from a phone number that I didn't recognize and when I answered it, I was asked if I had wrote out a cashier's check for $1,500 for to someone to buy clothes from someone in Ohio and I said absolutely not are you looking straight at the person right now and they said yes we are and I said you are looking at someone that's trying to scam my account call the police and to my surprise they did so let's talk to, to the police officer next and find out what exactly is going on I'm on hold with the police. They have a person trying to cash fraudulent checks on me, I think in Ohio right now. Hello. Hello. I'm sorry. What did you say? Hello, sir. Oh, hello, officer. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you fine. Hi. Uh, I have a check here, and I was wanting to run it by you. Yep. And hear from you. It's a cashier's check for from Home Federal Savings Bank. Yep. Does that sound familiar? That's my bank. I didn't write a cashier's check. Okay. Do you have any idea how they would have got this check? I don't know. Who is it? Do you have a name? Whitney Dady. Whitney Dady. What is it for? Something about internet sales or something? It says, uh, well, she said she sold clothes, but I don't see anything on the cashier's check for what it's for. <laughs> no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Okay. Sold clothes. Right. She sold clothes to us. So she said I bought clothes from her and I sent her a check for fifteen hundred and ninety-five dollars. Yeah. <laughs> no, not a chance. That's not even close to being okay. accurate. Well, sir, I'm gonna prosecute. Um and I just need to get your information here for my report. Uh, your name is Stan. Uh, can, you, can you tell me your last name? Because I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to butcher it. Genetic. G-E-N-A-D-E-K. I would go to your bank and ask for anything you can. And then also tell them that your account has been tampered or hacked or whatever. And they'll, they should close out your account and give you a new one. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, it's a weekend and the bank's not open, so there's, uh, that's going to be difficult to pull off. Can you log on to your bank and put a, put a um, stop on everything? I guess I will have to do that. Yep. That's the only thing I can think of. Okay. Uh, most banks also have an after-hours number, but... I'm not too, I'm not familiar with your bank, so. Hmm. And this All is, right. they got this, they gained access to my account, and they, they created a cashier's check. That's what it looks like. This makes no sense to me. I don't even know how that happens. I have no idea either. But they, they attempted to cash it, and it's over $1,000, which makes it a felony, and then it's, uh, they're trying to, cash a check which is also a felony so they're gonna she's gonna see the repercussions of this one so and and she's located uh, where in ohio zanesville ohio z-a-n-e-s-b-i-l-l-e ohio and your name is and how do i get a hold of you if i have to get a hold of you about anything sure all right, thank, um, thank so you, what, sir. I'm sorry, go ahead. So what will happen is when I get this report done and I get her off the jail, 
Uh, a detective will see the report tomorrow, and there will be a detective assigned to the case. We should be able to forward you to you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. It's nonstop. They're at it again. I, I just, I'm at a loss for what to say. I don't know, Gracie. If people worked it as hard at real jobs as they do at ripping other people off, this world would be a heck of a lot better place. I hope you guys are staying safe, but I've got to take some extra precautions now, obviously. Um, I'm going to protect my property. I'm going to protect my accounts. I want to hear from you guys. What do you guys do to protect yourself? I really, I need help because this is, I've had them, I've had them wait outside my house and uh, steal from me right in the, right in my driveway, rip stuff right out of my driveway. I've had them go after my account. There's just been, uh, it's, it's just a continual uh, ongoing basis. So I think I'm going to amp up my security here, amp up my security up north and, um, well, let's just... <laughs> Let's just see what I got. Let's, let's just go. Sad day. Okay, guys, here's exactly what they're doing. I talked to my bank and they broke it down for me in black and white. What these scammers are doing is you write a check out. I didn't write this check to Kevin Morris, never typed it up. Let's say I wrote it out to Caterpillar Equipment for parts and services for 30 bucks. They whitewash over Caterpillar equipment, they whitewash over the $30, and they whitewash it out here, and then they type in whatever information they want, including the date. The only thing they save is your account number, your routing number, and your signature. Since, that I've, since I've released this video and talked to that police officer, they've attempted over seven other times to, what, to deposit whitewashed checks on my account and it's not scammers breaking into your house and stealing a check when you hand this check over to caterpillar equipment it can be anybody that can see your check from that point forward it can be any of the mechanics any of the service technicians it can be anybody that carries a check from one point to another it could be the people at the bank my bank actually told me it could be any of the tellers at the bank it could be anybody down the line that can physically pick up your check has the ability to whitewash it and scam your account. The only way to protect it is to keep an eyeball on your account every single month to make sure that nothing gets through. One of these checks actually did get through because we didn't catch it in time. But let's get into the rest of the video. All right, you guys, we got a new delivery. Let's get the ASV fired up. The truck moved out of the way, blah, 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 blah. Let's get ready, because this guy says he's on the way, and I need a set of forks to unload his truck. I am sick of two things, snow and thieves. So today, we're gonna try to get rid of both. The truck that delivers toys is here, and the bigger, the older you get, the bigger the truck gets that delivers your toys. Alright kids, let's see what we got under the wrapper. Woo doggy! Now this looks like one they meant to build. 
If you guys remember, I bought a different snowplow bucket from the same company, and it basically was janked. The back was wrecked, was missing some stuff I did not want. But look at this one. You guys tell me what you think of the quality of this one. So the, on the last bucket, we still, well, we still got to hook this one up. But on the last one, this back bracket wouldn't allow me to connect into my, my skid loader. Now this is by Raptor. It looks like they've got... So now we can see through the back. This whole area was solid on my other one. Now this... This also has a bolt-on cutting edge. The other one didn't have a bolt-on cutting edge. So these are a few of the things I specified when I ordered my new bucket. So let's uh, let's see how she fits onto the ASV, and uh, let's get rid of some of this some of this crap back here. We gotta start cleaning up. I can't I can't even get to my backyard because of freaking snow. All of that. So let's get her, let's get her hooked up. look sharp though doesn't it you guys look at that ah that looks good on there yee -haw. all right let's get to moving some snow now all right you guys the first thing we're gonna do is unbury our garage and try to get our parking spaces back there back first things first we're gonna get rid of this treacherous ice right there I haven't seen my deck since this fall. I 
I guess there was some carpet underneath there. Kind of looks like it'll be okay though, right? I'll just stick it back together, the wife will never know. It's all better now, right? I don't think the wife will notice at all. All right, let's go up to the front of the house. We haven't made any trouble up there lately. So we got hit by thieves another time here, Zach. Again? Again. We got... Oh, what this, are we up to now? Uh, this time they're stealing checks. Well, this no, is no, the... No, 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 I get that, Stan, but how many are we up to now? Three. Three? But do you know what they're doing with checks now? Yeah, they take them and wash them and then type in everything. You know that? Yeah, I've tried to do... Somebody tried to do that to my account. Really? But, They've with done one it. of your checks. They... Really? Yeah. Because they did it. They did it three times in my account, but they were they, actually they have attempted it f closer to five times with my account. But they actually got went through one. One of the checks went through, and I didn't catch it in time. So I actually had to pay the freaking bill. They type, they wash them, and they type the name. And you you know about that? Yeah, because somebody tried to do the same thing with, and do a picture and send it in. All right, guys, let's crack open a box at one of these security cameras and see what it actually looks like inside and set it up from start to finish just to show you how easy it actually is. I love these security cameras. I actually am a longtime user. A couple things about them is they are a true wireless security camera. You don't have, you don't have to plug this into an outlet. You don't have to do anything. These are so right here. That's the magic. Now my other one has a solar panel on the top of it. I can hear everything. I can talk to them if I want to. How's that for picture clarity, you guys? That's insane. That's why I like these Eufy cameras. The clarity on these things, the ease of setup, everything about them is just so seamless. All right, guys, I want to just show you a live shot of what the Eufy camera actually looks like. Here it is outside my window, and here's the Eufy camera. The clarity on these things is insane. The camera we're looking at right now is actually the S330, and that one is a true wireless camera. I have no monthly fees. It just runs off the internet in my house. The solar one that we are looking at, that I'm looking at installing, does not require internet in any way, shape, or form. So that thing will I can throw it out into the middle of the woods and run it. Uh, but you do have to have a SIM card that powers it. But let's go outside right now. I just want to show you where I've got it hooked up and how easy it is to install. The camera we were just looking at is right there and there's no wires. 
It's not wired into the house. It's nothing. It's two screws, boom, boom, into the wall. And you can put it anywhere you want. And that camera has not been touched since last year. And it's charging and powering itself just off from whatever sunlight it gets every single day of the week. It's never been taken down or recharged ever. It's amazing. And the clarity, even nighttime vision is good on these things. Now we're going to hold this for two seconds. One, two. Welcome to Eufy Security. <whistles> Connecting to the network. Please wait. I'm legitimately cracking this open and firing it up so you guys can see. Well, the beauty part too while we're waiting for this to do what network it Network connection successful. Now I can take this solar panel with this cord and I can put the panel around to where I can get some sunlight and the camera can be where the camera... Successful. We're going to go backyard. Backyard. Yep. Optimal battery life. We'll fully charge it up. It's telling me how to mount it. And this is it right here. And there's my bald head. Four minutes and we're done. Now I can just take this, screw this into wherever, one, two, screw it in, hook this up to the back, take this little part here, screw that in to the back there, my camera is mounted, or my solar panel is mounted. Same thing for the actual camera, and I'm done. I've got another security camera set up. But that's it for this video. I hope I want to hear from you guys. What do you guys do for security? There goes one of my security, my backup security systems right there. Sonoka. Yeah. Big dog. Big dog. Big bad dog, big dog. So got plenty of security. So if anybody does come snooping around, I can open up a door and say, go get them, have some fun. Din Din is served. But that's it for this one, you guys. Hope you enjoyed the ride. Hope I don't get scammed anymore. I hope you don't get scammed. And if you do get scammed, let me hear about what you come across and how you've protected yourself because they're constantly coming. Constantly, if these guys would just work as hard at getting a job as they do at screwing people over, man, they could be really successful. But that's it for this one. God bless. Go get them, you guys. See you later.